At OER Info, we often look at different countries around the world and their perspective on open education. Today, Finland. May I ask you to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Ilmar Jauhjönen. I work for the uh, Finnish Federation of Learned Societies, a non-profit organization. Uh, currently, I'm also secretary of the Finnish National uh, Expert Panel for Open Higher Education, which is currently working for a, a national uh, higher education policy for open education. So before we take a closer look at the open education questions, what are the big questions in higher education in general in Finland today? Well, there's uh, pretty much going on about uh, uh, lifelong education and uh, need for uh, uh, extending the uh, uh, you know the education from the institutionalized education to the needs of. Uh, wider society and to all levels of education, all, all, level, all citizens. Access uh, to higher education in Finland, is it free? Or? Yes, it's free uh, for uh, EU citizens at least. Uh -huh. So you are preparing a policy for open education. What happened so far? Well, uh, we've just started. We began with a Uh, doing a questionnaire for for the higher education teachers. What are you expecting and what are the challenges you see in open education? And we've set up a task group uh, which holds up uh, repre representatives from universities, uh, from uh, teacher and student unions. And uh, we are trying to work for uh, the first draft, which is then, which then will be opened up for the for public commenting. Do the, the teachers in Finland know about open education or uh, did you have to explain to them what this questionnaire is about? Well, there certainly are some very active uh, teachers who know about it, but uh, uh, it, was, it, it, it became very clear that we need to do some very heavy communication about what open education and what open educational resources mean and what they are. And Is in Finland distance learning connected to it? So do you have any distance learning universities? Uh, we have some distance learning, yes. Uh, even before the open education became kind of like the uh, hot thing. What could be part of the open education policy? Well, firstly, we need to uh, set up some incentives for teachers. Uh, in our questionnaire we got uh, results that uh, teachers uh, have to do uh, open educational resources in their spare time so that's not really a good thing so we need to get the organizations to really um, uh, give give some uh, work time for for doing o OER and uh, for developing them also we need to uh, set up some kind of um, Uh, resources for uh, like is it like a capacity building that they don't know how to do it or? yes yes uh, many of the teachers don't know how to do it yeah. so we need to set up some instructions uh, li about licensing about uh, tools for doing OER and stuff like that but it sounds like generally they are open to open education most of them are yes uh, Well, there are all, always some people who uh, have some kind of uh, financial uh, interests in this, but uh, they they are a pretty, uh, bit negative about this. But they are clearly on the minority, I think. Could you find out via your questionnaire? Are there certain groups that are more open to open education? Some subjects or some groups uh, within the faculties? Well, we didn't ask so definite. Uh, Uh, definite attributes about the about the teachers who answered so we can't really say in Germany we have a picture of uh, education in general in Finland it has a m much more higher priority in the society yeah. uh, what could you say from the inner perspective is education um, a high high pr priority thing in Finland definitely it is and we are We are kind of like uh, very proud of our achievements in education. Okay, so could be a big thing that we see open education now growing in Finland. Anything else we should uh, talk about in this video? 
Well, uh, I could mention also that we are uh, just about to launch our first national platform for OER in March 2020. Will there be something in English or do we need Google Translate to take a look at it? Well, there might be something in English also. We are not restricting it just to finish OER, but... So what would be the, the keywords we have to find uh, if we would look for the platform? Uh, How to Google it? <laughs> the name hasn't been settled yet. Ah, okay. it's, it's not official, so I can't, cannot say it yet. Okay. But we will at OER Info uh, find out what's the name of the platform and we'll uh, at least tweet it or put the name beneath the video. Thank you very much for taking your time. All the best for your work. Thank you for this interview. Yes.